Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Liam McCall and today is the day. I finally got this package in the mail and we are going to open it up together. Here we go. Oh my gosh, guys, here it is. Oh. I got the Atomo Shogun Inferno. And not just that, I also got their Atomflex HDMI cable, so I can enable that 4K at 60 frames per second. And also, the Atomos accessory kit. So I am super stoked on this package, and there's plenty of other unboxing you know, videos on YouTube, just around on the internet. So what makes this video different? Well, it's me doing the unboxing, duh. Okay, just kidding, guys. Um, I just wanted to go through and just show you guys what's included with all of this. I got this entire setup through Bedford Camera and Video, the Rogers location through Sean Kaiser. They always hook me up with great deals, and um, I just could not pass this one up. So, let's go ahead and get into the accessory kit here. This is pretty wicked looking right here. Having this kind of case to carry around with you, you know, this Pelican style case to keep everything protected, it just, you cannot go wrong with that. Okay, so inside of the accessory kit, you got two latches in the front. Now open it up. Man, it feels nice and solid, look at that, yeah. All right, so I've got a little mini, um, you know, like audio breakout cable there. There are the master caddies right there. Uh, so you can throw your solid state drives inside of there. Um, I got two of those to go in here. I'll go ahead and set those up here in a little bit. I've already got one of these. This is just, you know, the Atomos um, USB 3.0 SSD docking station. Um, it works great. I got two batteries right here that's included. Now these are the slightly bigger ones it looks like these are the 7.4 volt 5200 milliamp um, batteries so got two of those right there and it looks like they got two more slots for two more so that's pretty neato all right now uh, supposedly under this is where the good stuff lies ah there we go this is the sun hood right here Looks like they got mounting instructions. I've actually seen people mount it upside down, which is kind of crazy. I know how to mount it right, and I've never even owned one of these before. <laughs> so, there's the sun hood. Looks like they come with some more cables here. Um, looks like they got a D-tap to, um, what was that, like the 2.5 millimeter, um, like DC output cable. You get a look at that there. So, these are really, kind of hard to come by to be honest. You have to special order these to, you know, like Newegg or some company like that. Um, trust me, because I've been looking for some like this. So it comes with that. Looks like just little nuts to mount the sun hood to. Now this is really cool. Now, this might not be a big deal for all you guys that just travel around the US or within your own specified country, but having all of these different outlets right here, of the different, you know, countries, you know, like uses, like here's the European style outlet that, you know, you can hook up to the back of the charger. And, you know, obviously there's the United States one. And I used one like this when I was in Qatar, right there. So just throwing it out there, you know, if you guys are traveling around the world, you know, this is actually something really handy to have. So uh, it's good to know that Atomos is including this stuff with their packages. So here's the power brick. It's got a standard, like a, I think it's a 2.5 millimeter, like DC out right there um, that, you know, you can plug into the back of the Inferno. Um, and here is the actual charger itself. It kind of goes through, you know, it has like instructions on what the flashing lights mean and stuff. Um, you know, honestly, these Atomos chargers, I've never had a problem with them. They've always worked. Um, I'm actually using the uh, Ninja 2 right now to record this video. And um, I, all the accessories that came with it, they all still work to this day. So I imagine the stuff that Atomos is putting inside of here is pretty good quality. Um, looks like they got a carrying strap for their accessory kit here, you know. I'm sure once you get everything in here loaded up, it probably kind of bogs you down. Nice to have a little strap. Okay, so I'm gonna put everything back in here. Now before we get onto the meat and potatoes of this, I actually wanna show you guys this cable here. 
Now, not a lot of people know about HDMI 2.0 yet. What does that allow? Well, it allows 4K video at 60 frames per second and high frame rate 1080 or 2K video, you know, like 120, 240 frames per second. And this is it right here. Yeah. It doesn't look any different than another normal HDMI cable, but this just has, you know, extra technology that goes into it. So yeah, this basically just allows, um, you know, high frame rate recording. And I went ahead and just got it because these are built, you know, really stout. So, you know, it's a good HDMI cable to have. Okay, and here it is, the Shogun Inferno itself. Oh, I love the way they package their stuff. Congratulations, welcome to the Atomos community. Download the latest firmware, register for three year warranty, blah, 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 blah. Here is the Atomos Shogun Inferno. With this video recorder right here, I can shoot Apple ProRes 422 HQ quality footage through the HDMI ports on the side or through the SDIs on the back. So, yeah. There's other codecs you can use as well. I believe like Avid, DNX, HD or something like that is also included. I personally use Apple ProRes, I love it. And oh look, they also have an additional caddy on the back here. That's cool, I'm gonna throw that right there. Um, wow. Now, every review that I heard said that it felt like cheap plastic. Now, I don't think I would say that. If I had to compare this plastic to another item that I own, I would say it's kind of similar to the Flashpoint Explorer lights. It's got that kind of plastic on it and about that kind of sturdiness. I don't think I'm gonna be dropping this <laughs> at least anytime soon. And I think it's gonna hold up just fine. I do plan on getting one of those um, small rig video cages for it just to keep it you know, a little bit more maneuverable whenever I'm trying to, you know, put it on my rig in different areas and whatnot. And it also kind of protects it. Somebody said that this cable is very loose inside of here. We're about to find out. Not loose. With a decent amount of pressure, I can get it out of there. Same thing with the other. Yeah. I don't see any problem with that guys. So disregard that review, maybe something was loose there. So also in here, they have some more goodies. Ah, there it is. There is my XLR breakout cable right there. Um, this is huge guys. Now I don't know anybody that goes to a video shoot and prefers to use the onboard audio um, from the Shogun Inferno. What I mean by that is uh, monitoring audio from the Shogun Inferno, but I think that's something that I might start implementing. Cause check this out. With that hooked into the side of my Inferno, now I've got two XLRs. So I can have someone holding the boom mic, you know, over the, the scene that I'm shooting. And I can also have, you know, something like a Rode Video Mic Pro or even the Sony XLR K2M that I own. I can have that for scratch audio. Yeah, so this is really awesome. I, I definitely like this. So it looks like also included is another, you know, like power brick to charge everything with. You know, it came with even more sets that I was telling you guys about earlier. You know, if you're traveling the world, this stuff comes in super handy. And I believe that pretty much wraps it up with the quick start guide right there, which who reads them anymore? Actually, no, I'm not gonna read it. Okay, just because I like Atomos, I'm going to open it up just for a minute. Oh, it folds out kind of like a map. Okay. Yep, actually this is stuff I already know because I've seen every video on YouTube and Vimeo about this product. So sorry Atomos, this is great, but I already know how to work it. <laughs> Okay guys, so thank you for watching this messy unboxing of the Atomos Shogun Inferno accessory kit and also the Atom HDMI cable. I'm sounding like a broken record, but I've waited for this product for so long, guys. I just, there's other things that I needed to buy in my, you know, accessory realm before I needed this because, you know, I've been shooting with the Ninja series and I thought it was about time to step up to the big boys. So 
went ahead and got it. Um, there will be a review coming out here fairly soon, so stay tuned for that. And uh, if you guys have any questions about any of the products you see here or anything else that I've talked about in previous videos, you guys just let me know and I'll be sure to get back with you guys. So thank you all so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe my content if you enjoy what I'm putting out to you guys. And as always, I'm Lee McCall.